What is up guys? Welcome to another video. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can swap between weapon attacks. So whether you're swapping from sword attacks to magic attacks to gun attacks, it really doesn't matter. I'll be showing you how we transition from one to another in terms of the animation and the attack event. I'm going to be demoing this by swapping between two guns, but only because I've got the animations for them. Regardless of what you're attacking with, this tutorial will work for you. But before we get into that, this video was supported by my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I try to help all my subscribers, but if you would like access to some of the exclusive rewards seen on screen now, please check out my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, let's get into this video. So, before you start this tutorial, you will need one method of attacking. Be that magic, sword or gun attacks, it doesn't matter. And this attack should be triggered in the character blueprint. If you just want to download my project, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, just one last thing before we start. Everything you see in this tutorial is covered in one of my prior tutorials. So if you're unsure about anything or think a specific feature looks cool, be sure to check my previous videos. So I've broken our weapon changing into three steps which you can adapt specifically for your project. The first step is telling the program which weapon or attack we want to switch to. So in our character blueprint, create an integer variable and call it weapon type. So we want to update this variable when we swap to a new weapon or attack style. And you can update it any way which works for you. If you're using magic or flicking between a weapon in your inventory, one way could be with number events. As I'm demonstrating this with a gun, I'm gonna change it when I pick up the gun. And it just so happens we've already blueprinted picking up weapons in one of my prior tutorials. So let's just add this onto it. Right after we set the equipped weapon, let's set the weapon type. So coming off the caster third person character, set weapon type. For my first weapon, I'm gonna set it to one. And for my second weapon, I'm gonna set it to two. Great, that is step one complete. Now for step two, using the weapon type variable to launch different attacks. So I'm not entirely sure what attack blueprints you've got set up, but it should be coming from your character blueprint, which makes this next step really simple. We can just decide which attack we want to fire off by using our weapon type int. So coming off your attack event, control drag in our weapon type, then bring in a switch on int node and add as many slots as you have different attacks. So if our weapon type is set to one, we want to fire off weapon one attacks. If our weapon type is set to two, we want to fire off weapon two attacks, etc., etc. Following on from my gun tutorial, I actually used the left click pressed, released, and the right click pressed as a part of my attack. So I'm gonna duplicate this variable in the switch node for each. My right click is just a zoom, so I'm just gonna put it at the end so I can change the zoom position. Now I'm gonna set up my attack. So this will most likely be very different for you, but you just create your attack for your new weapon, whatever it may be. Mine is another gun, so I'm just going to copy everything from my first gun and take away the aiming branch as I want to hip fire with this gun. If I was on my sword project and I wanted to use magic instead of sword attacks, I'd put a switch in before the sword attack and then create the magic attack coming off number three. So we've got our weapon type and we've got different attacks coming off our attack button depending on the weapon we've got equipped. Now the final step is to make sure the animation fits the attack. But I'm not talking about the attack animations. I'm talking about the animations that are played when you're walking around with your weapon, when you're idling, running, etc. So let's hop over to our AnimBP event graph. Create a variable and call this weapon type anim. Now we're going to link our weapon type in our character BP to this one in our anim BP. So cast your third person character if you haven't done so already, then pull off this and get the weapon type then alt drag in our weapon type to set it and plug these together. Now into the anim graph, you will need a state machine with running and idle animations for every weapon type you have. Obviously, if we've got some kind of rocket launcher equipped, we can't have our character running around like he normally does. We need him to be running around holding his weapon. So create a blend poses by int node. If you didn't get it from the name, this will output a state machine depending on the int we put into it. So first, control drag in your weapon type variable and plug it in. Now, for our first pose, we need a state for our character with no weapon. Then in the next pose, our character with a weapon. Then in the pose after that, our character with a different weapon, etc. 
So the state I have at the moment is my state for my character with my first weapon. So I'm gonna plug this into my pose number one. Then I'm gonna duplicate this twice. Call one, no weapon, and plug this into pose zero. Then call the other one, your new weapon. Right click the blend poses node and create new blend pose. Then plug your new weapon into this. Now all we need to do is put our animations into our states. So for no weapon, I'm going to delete everything except for my default animations. Then for my new weapon, I'm going to put in my new weapon animations. I don't have an aim animation, so I can delete that. And my weapon drawn animation is the same for both guns, so I can leave that as it is. So guys, your final result should look like this. If you've been following my gun or sword tutorial, you'll plug your blend node into the appropriate nodes seen on screen now. If you're using an aim offset, for my sword viewers, you can insert your offset in between the corresponding state machine and the blend poses by int node. For my gun viewers, as we only want the aim offset to be active when we zoom in, you'll have to do it like so. All right, let's quickly recap. We created a variable called weapon type to control which weapon or attack we wanted to use. In my tutorial, I changed this when I picked up a weapon, but this could be changed in any way that was fit for your program. We then linked our weapon type with a switch on an int node. This was done so our attack event changed when we changed our weapon type variable. In our animbp, we created a variable called weapon type anim and linked it to our character blueprint one. We then created multiple states with varying animations, one state for no weapon equip and one state for each weapon we want our character to be able to equip. By connecting these together with a blend by int node and our weapon type int, our state changed when we changed weapon. And just a quick reminder before I close this video, you only need a new animation state when you want your weapon to be held in a different position to the previous. And there it is guys, thank you so much for watching, like, comment, subscribe and join my discord to keep updated with new video releases. Peace! Wow.